today I am trying an Indian single malt whiskey. And it's not from the usual two distilleries, but a new distillery. Yes, there is a new distillery with Indian single malt. Now it's from, yeah, the northern region, which is actually pretty handy because the barley that is grown in India, yes, there is barley grown in India, comes from the northern regions. And this is exactly where the, um, the Indri comes from. It's the Indri Three Wood um, yeah, Single Malt Whiskey, and it comes from the Yamuma, Yamuna River. It's um, made from really yeah, old barley, the six row barley, and yeah, the Indria, Indri or Indria is um, representing the five senses smell, taste, uh, seeing, touching, and hearing. I'm not quite sure how, how that's supposed to go with touching, but uh, not with touching with, with hearing, touching, you can touch the whiskey, but uh, with hearing the whiskey, maybe when you pour it into the glass. Yeah, and the thing is, uh, free wood. Yeah, the three wood uh, refers to the three woods, uh, three types of wood in the casks. And here on the back it says ex bourbon casks, ex French wine casks, and ex PX sherry casks. So the French wine casks should give a bit more, yeah, heftier notes and a bit more darker notes. And I just about cut my fingernails, so that makes it really hard to open, but I just did it. And the PX Sherry Casks is that really, really sweet fortified wine from Spain. And yeah, the bourbon casks also give it a little bit of a, yeah, sweeter and yeah, vanilla kind of flavor. So this, this mixture, first of all, sounds pretty, pretty decent. Unfortunately, it does not say how old it is. It's a 46% uh, whiskey, so 46% ABV. And on the back, it says 80.5 proof. That must be then imperial, uh, UK imperial proof, because the, the American proof would be then 92, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's... Very nice, fruity, wholesome, sweet, but also very intense. So you really feel additive maturation, which was to be expected in such a hot country as India. Not quite sure how hot it is in the very northern part of India because it's very near the uh, Himalaya. And maybe that, that has more cooler winters but it feels like they have um, additive maturation or they've used very fresh casks, very strong casks as it is tightly packed taste in there with a lot of fruit. So a little bit of a mixture like two thirds, one third, uh, one third dried fruit, two thirds fresh fruit and a little bit of an um, oak note going on. So it's ni nicely balanced doesn't feel very mature but very additive matured so a lot of a lot of wood flavors coming in a lot of the wood giving off flavor to the whiskey feel that it's a bit of a younger whiskey here and there 46 percent give it a little bit of a kick to it so you do feel a bit the alcohol but there's a wholesome what is it red apple flavor combined with a lot of other fruits cherries berries mm, a little bit of a milk chocolate thing going on a little bit of a pelty dry feeling going on maybe from the sherry maybe from the oak mm. 
So it is an explosion of taste, very, very intense. Mm. So this is really um, a whiskey that you want to savor in, if you like the, the intense whiskey. Oh, I've just seen that uh, it's the, the bourbon cast, uh, first fill bourbon cast. So just bourbon in there and then the next is the Indri. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Here it says something um, with spiced tannins um, that would um, increase the the idea that it's the French red wine or the French wine cast. Does it say red wine? French wine cast made from French oak. French um, uh, oak is more spicy, more tannins, stronger. Although the tannins are supposed to go into the wine, but you don't know how. If it's a first full wine cask or a fourth full wine cask, a fourth full wine cask would not add much tannins to it, yes, but you do feel the tannins, a little bit of a dry bitterness, but not overwhelming. It's it's not a very bitter whiskey, but it has a bitter, I would say, finish to it. Now it's yeah, a bit, bit dominant taste, but only when you're really at the end of the whiskey where it just fades off. And for that, it's such a new distillery, as in new, it makes whiskey just for a, a short amount of time. Um, it's very good. So I was very excited about that. It has, it costs in Germany, costs around 38 point, uh, yeah, about nearly a below 40 euros, which is roughly the same in US dollars and I don't know, 37 pounds or something like that. Um, it's pretty good. So in terms of Indian whiskey, it's priced very, very at the top. If you take out all the blended bad Indian t whiskey, just the Indian single malt, then it's hmm, fairly priced at, at the lower ends, I would say. But for that, it's really good. So the Indian single malt market has a new distinct distillery that can keep up with the others. And I like it. Um, good for them. Good for that the Indians have made another distillery that is worth mentioning. Yeah, that was my take for the Indri Indian single malt whiskey. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.